afternoon traders welcome to another video today is march 14th and it's 1 31 in the afternoon and we are looking at the markets and how they're performing today i want to teach you and show you how to read the markets how to read the trends and how to find the areas where we can look into buying into the market or reinvest into the market so let's get started <music> disclaimer that this is just how I see the markets this is not a recommendation to buy sell or hold any securities we are looking at the Apple incorporated uh, one week uh, chart or weekly chart and uh, how we interpret the trends from the markets or what's happening at the more at the moment from the on the market is this we always look from the left side of the chart to the right side of the chart and we just take a look at the trend. So this is general look of how the trend is performing. Okay, so we can see that basically the bulls are in control or the market is trending in a bullish direction. So, but how do we know that that's actually what's happening at the, at the moment and how do we actually react to, these, to this information that we received from there? Okay, so I'm gonna start from this point here. Um, just uh, because it looks very nice and you know we don't have to go that far this is uh, 2019 around there 2018 2019 year um, it doesn't matter how you start i just want to show you how actually market works so the things we have to understand that the markets move in waves okay or swings you will hear me saying or you're going to hear other traders say or investors market is swinging into a bullish direction right so what we have basically in the markets we have following characteristics so we have market moves up moves backwards moves up moves backwards moves up okay so every single bottom of this move and every single top of this move is called a swing this is a swing okay and then the market pulls back basically traders so if this is bulls, uh, same works uh, in a, a bearish direction, but I'm going to start with the bulls. So if this is a bullish move here, okay, we have a low. This is a low, okay. This is called low. And we're going to determine the low on the chart as well. And then we have a following high. After the low is broken, we go to a certain high, okay. Once the market pulls back, we have... A higher low okay I'm gonna mark it as higher low and we have a higher high okay so this is higher high these are very important things to remember so we're gonna rem uh, put this one as a high okay so this is a first low first high higher low higher high higher low higher high why is this a higher low because it's higher than this previous one and then so on and so forth why is this a higher high because it's higher than the previous one and why is this one higher high well because it's higher than the previous one so these are the swings so market swings one this is swing two three and so on okay so point a to point b from the low to high is called a swing okay how do we see that on a chart well we can see it here i'm gonna enlarge the chart so you can see it basically i'm just gonna sh show that uh, same stuff works uh, in the opposite direction right so we have moved to the low we had a high we had a low we have a swing and we go lower so this is a higher low lower high lower low this is a lower high because it's lower than the previous high and this is a lower low because it's pre this part of me this is a lower low because it's lower than previous low okay so this is how we move in swings right this is mark how the market works okay this explains basically the uptrend so this is the uptrend this would be the downtrend okay so 
markets can do three things okay they can go up they can go down and they can go sideways sideways means market moves like this okay in pretty much defined pattern right where we have all our highs pretty much similar and we have all our lows pretty much similar okay let me clear this for you okay and i'm gonna enlarge the chart now so how do we determine this on the chart okay it is very simple okay so we're going to go from here okay this would be the low we're going to take this as a first swing okay so this is the swing so this is low okay and then the market moved 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 with no stopping at all basically okay made this a little higher high right here and then pull back so we did this pull back made this higher low and then moved on and then we had a higher high and then the market moved backwards okay or pull back so we have lower low high higher low higher high higher low okay but where's the higher high? Well, this is not a higher high because it's not higher than this one. This is a higher low. This is a higher low, but this is a higher low, but it's not higher than this one, okay? So if we look at the swing move, this will be important for us to remember. So this is the higher high. So the next swing now is from here to here, okay? And then what we have here, okay? So this here, we have a pullback okay did market break the higher high no it did not okay did the market move from the high from after creating this low yes it did move up over there so basically whatever happens between this swing or this pullback is actually not important to us okay unless the market breaks this high which is right here okay or breaks this low which is right here okay if the market if the market does not break this higher high or this high here then we uh, disregard this higher low and this becomes our low that's very important so this would be our high that's important and this is our low that's important if the market manages to break out above this level okay to the upside then market is moving still in the bullish direction if the market uh, breaks below this low it means that market is moving in the bearish direction and it's being sold off okay so this is important yes this is important this is a higher low however we don't count it until the market breaks out above the higher high okay so that's how it's calculated so this is a first swing one two three now we have a four right this would be well i would take this one as a high higher high right so we have another um, swing right there okay let me just clean this again so we had this 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 okay market never has um, the perfect arrangement what you're looking at the chart okay so uh, this is very important to understand so for us now in order for the market to uh, do something or for us to calculate where the market is going basically market either has to break this high okay so we can say it's still a bullish market or if this becomes our low okay then and that would be that would become a low only if the market breaks this high okay if not this is our previous low this is where we calculate it's from from this one here to this one here so the market has to break either these two okay everything between as i said is not important because it's in the swing from this higher low to higher high so this is what we have we have the swing this is our swing and this is important to understand this is a higher low higher high market either breaks above and shows us a bullish move again or it breaks below this line here okay and this becomes a bearish move okay so in order for the market to tell us that this is a higher low okay i'm gonna clean this once again and show you where we are going from here so we had this move from here and then market moves back okay 
and then the market made a higher high okay so this higher high higher low this was our previous low so these two locations we were looking into as very important locations now this location becomes important and this location becomes important because this is a higher high and this is a higher low we have another swing 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 okay so we had this 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 is how the market is calculated even though on the overall pictures we can see that the market is moving to the upside this is how you are basically uh, marking the uh, most important levels on the chart okay so now what's next what you are wondering like no what what do we do next okay so now we have this swing from here to here okay this is a swing right now what we have that's important on the chart is that we have a level when this higher high gets broken that level is called a resistance so everything below this level is resistance because this pop uh, this uh, ceiling or this resistance is or this high is basically not a letting the price to go higher okay and this low that we had right here is not letting the price go lower okay so if we mark these two levels like this this becomes our resistance this is the resistance that needs to be broken in order for the bulls to take over the market or the slow has to be broken right here in order for the bears to take over the market and this is support okay so imagine this as a house okay this is a house you have a floor and you have a ceiling okay these two lines represent that so we have support because if you fall you're going to be supported by the floor on the house and if you want to go to the uh, in, into this uh, the uh, upper uh, in the attic in the house you have to go through the ceiling right so you're gonna have to break through this area here in order to end up over here right so this is called resistance right in order to make a hole in here you have to use a hammer and just to break it in all right and if you fall you're going to fall on the support basically and this is a uh, like a floor in a house okay we call it the support resistance support is the support and the lower level and resistance is the resistance once this resistance gets broken okay resistance turns into support now let me show you what that means okay so if when the market broke above this area here about this one okay once we break out okay this resistance is no more okay it doesn't exist anymore because you managed to get from the basement into the main part of the house okay so now you're in the main part of the house now you have a floor behind you this is a floor behind you okay and then as you're climbing up you're trying to create or there's another specific uh, level we're going to have to break but now we created that level here so this becomes our new resistance and then as the market is retreating or pulling back this is becoming our support so now where do we buy or sell okay so where do we buy or sell well we always buy on support and we sell at the resistance okay and we always in order to find those levels look into the past okay we are looking at the apple once again this is a one one week chart okay apple is uh, basically pulling back at this point of time and I'm looking to buy into this market all right so I'm gonna clear the screen and I'm gonna pull the chart so you can see what's going on here okay and I'm gonna start from this beginning as we started from there okay so we had this I'm gonna take this line this time I'm gonna I'm gonna use the lines okay so we had this high this was the high that we uh, marked for the first time in on a chart okay I'm gonna mark this high here regard don't disregard the side of the part uh, of the chart okay so I'm gonna mark it right that 
Okay, this is and the reason why I'm marking these and uh, leaving the wicks, wicks uh, on the other side is just to tell me the story. And the wicks means that market was once at that level. However, uh, the there were the bulls or the bears were not able or capable of holding that level. And then the uh, opposite party, let's say in this case, uh, bulls were pushing the price to the upside. Bears were stronger, and they created this uh, uh, little doji. Uh, candle here so every single wick that's above this line is telling me that bulls tried to move the price to the upside they were not able to I'm gonna enlarge the chart so you can see it so we can see here that the price moved to this side and up and up until up until then we had a huge and strong bullish move all these big candles red uh, pardon me green big, uh, big candles are representing a bulls and you can see how it moves their moves are really strong like it, it they just move 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 you can see the bearish candles which are very very small that means there's a uh, just a little bit of resistance from the bears not letting basically uh, trying to fight the bulls but not able to okay then we come to this point here okay and I'm going to just move this this uh, line here so you can just understand how what what we look for so once we create this high the, the top of the candle top of the wick of this candle here is the last move that bulls were actually in control of right so we're gonna mark this candle here as very very important okay the next uh, session or the next week what we have here basically is th is the following again and take a look at this okay I'm gonna just move the chart a little bit so I can I can show it better for you all right take a look at this move and this is really important to understand how the how the candles work and how powerful they are right so as you can see here We have the top of this candle here. Take a look at that. That wick is the top. This is the highest the bulls have ever been, okay, up until that point. Then the next session or the next week, because we are on a weekly chart, they tried to break this area here, okay? They, they, they were, so they, they, were, they managed to go on the other side, okay? They came to this little point right there, as you can see. That's the top of the wick, okay? And then market opened basically here. So this is how much ground they gained uh, within that week, okay? They managed to move up until here, and then the bears took over, and the market, basically bears, when they took over in a bullish market, it means that um, the traders are taking the profit at that point of time, and uh, um, every single uh, buy has its sell, basically. So in order to... Uh, um, box in a little bit of profits you know you start selling selling off some assets you know and, and to see like you know how market uh is going to show uh, is it strong or not to continue on from that level okay so we see here the bulls tried to break on the other side were not able to close and then the bears took over basically and started going down 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 and they closed the candle right here okay so now we can see that this wick here is telling us that the market is not ready to break above that level again, okay? Then the candles started falling, started falling here until we got this candle right here, which was showing us again some bullish power and they were trying to push the price to the upside. Their goals, remember, is to break the ceiling or break the resistance, okay? And this is the resistance. This is why we mark this level here as a resistance because that's where they came the latest with the price, okay? After this green candle, we have another week, okay, of trading and uh, the bulls were really, really trying, you know, to break to the other side and they, as you can see, the length of this wick basically ended up on the other side. And however, again, the bears were not ready or sellers are not ready to move the market to the upside. So basically, they just uh, pushed the price down and we can see that, you know, from the opening of this candle here to the top here, that's, that's, that was a bullish power, okay? This is bullish power but they were not able to hold this price. Basically what I mean to hold, hold means that uh, you see how you see the body of the candle. We have to see the close of that candle on the other side. So it would look something like this, okay? 
that's this would be a continuation of the trend basically we would have bulls closing the price this would be the green candle closing the price right here above this line here meaning that this resistance is broken and the market is ready to move on into the upside they tried that they were not uh, strong enough and the bears pushed back again and then the market just fell okay so that's what we're seeing in the picture I'm, i was explaining to you at the candle by candle basically what these weeks are telling us is the um, capability of bears uh, to keep the price below that uh, resistance level okay so i'm going to clean this mark uh, clean this chart and the drawings okay and i'm going to reset the chart where we need to go and let's take a look at what we have here now okay so as i marked this level here this is what we were looking at here as the market fell down we know that this is a swing level right okay so we have had everything between this part okay so everything between this part here and this part here okay is a swing so this is a swing so we are looking at the support right here and we are looking at the resistance right here okay as the market managed to make a higher high which means that it broke out here this is called a breakout okay this was the breakout this is where the finally bulls were uh, managed where bulls managed to close the price on the other side and move the market to the upside okay so that means that risk this resistance here now it's turning support if the market comes back the market will have a hard time breaking to the downside from there okay so if the market does this breaks out it usually retest this level and retest comes after every single breakout and then the market moves on if the market is strong enough to bounce off of this area okay so if the market shows us its hand at this area so this previous resistance now turning into support because the market broke above now we are falling down okay we're gonna manage to land on the bottom or on the floor okay if we get a nice signal that the bears pardon me the bulls are in control of the price and the price is still close on this side okay on the positive side okay this is positive this is a negative side basically or bullish bearish side okay and this is what happens basically with this candle here i'm gonna clean this drawing right there so you can i'm gonna enlarge the picture and you can see what i'm talking about so we're still looking at the same line as i showed you before okay take a look at this okay so the bear uh, pardon me bulls finally broke out out of above this uh, resistance area this is the breakout candle right here then we have this inside bar meaning that market is thinking what it would do from this point on right is it going to uh, show its hand and start moving the price uh, below this level here okay or uh, it's going to move the market to the upside okay so when we have something like this this is a main candle and this is the inside candle okay if the market breaks this level market will start falling down if the market breaks above this level market will come continue on into bullish direction okay which happened exactly right here we can see that this candle here uh, was the main candle this big one here right there okay this was an inside candle and as soon as the top of that candle or both candles was broken this was your entry to continue on with the market and look what the market did okay so once we got to the certain point okay this was our higher high okay this was our low this was the swing okay but since we had a breakout above this level here very important this resistance is broken now we are expecting this resistance now to turn into support so this is going to be a support level this was the resistance level okay so now that this resistance does not exist anymore we only have a support and guess what the market does okay market broke down people started taking profits okay market pulled back and where does it stop oh surprise surprise okay so we close the price right on this 57.22 level okay and then we have this beautiful engulfing candle 
giving a signal that this previous move of the bulls is basically ready to move the market again to the upside and this is one of the signals that we are waiting for to get and this is called a bullish engulfing candle okay and you can either uh, so to explain where to buy into this my personal preference is when the top of that candle gets broken okay so it has to be there my stop level will go below this candle this would be my entry okay and after that i would just uh, ride the market okay my first target would be this previous high okay it's always like that all right if the market goes against me and takes my stop which is below this candle here then i would lose this much okay i am willing to lose this much okay so this is my risk level okay this would be my reward level you can see that it's much higher or bigger than my risk level because we know where the target would be and the target is always the previous high this is a previous high and this is our target this is our first target okay at that level where we have a resistance again okay we can either take some partial profits and let the market run or you can take a full profit wait for the market to break above again pull back retest this level give you another signal to buy in and move with the market okay so this is how this game of buying and selling is played okay in case of thinking where to buy and where to sell or when you hear people say uh, the bottom and the top well the bottom is your previous resistance so this was a resistance before okay now it's turned support as you can see the candles or the price stopped exactly right there okay this is your as I call it the bullseye area to buy in okay if the market again if the market gives you an opportunity or gives you a signal to buy into the market okay in this case we have this beautiful engulfing candle okay and after that market just moves on okay beautifully if you see this beautiful doji candle here okay surprise surprise where it stops okay why is it like that okay so we have a doji so that's that's called an indecision this candle like that it means like indecision because it's an equal power from the bears and the bulls okay so the bulls are trying to push the price up the bears are pushing the price down and become really equal in power so this candle basically has no shape it's it's just like a little cross meaning that that we have an equal power it's indecision it's called an indecision candle and this indecision candle is basically giving us an opportunity to rethink our position and see what the market does after that look after what happens after that we have a little bit of a bullish power left over they are pushing to the upside and then we have a bears right on that spot where we would be taking the profits bears are taking over control they did not take the control fully like the market moved on after that you know we would read that again um, as we come to that point however what I'm trying to explain that you can see the stalling starts happening around that area okay so now we have another ceiling here and if it br gets broken when the market comes down becomes a support okay all right so let's move this uh, video into the right direction right now so what I'm looking at here guys I'm going to reset the chart and take a look at the markets at, as they move on right now okay so what's happening with Apple at this point of time so we had this swing high sorry pardon me yeah we had this swing high this was the highest point here after that market uh, and we had a, a higher higher low which would be like here okay and when the market moved out we had this higher high here and we had our low so high low market broke so the last swing that we have basically in this market is our higher low and higher high right here this is the higher high okay so this is our last swing 
where are we right now? Okay, so you can see this higher low was, uh, pardon me, higher high was right there and created this ceiling or uh, resistance, right? Market was struggling a little bit here, so it broke out with this red candle, pulled back and retested this area and then moved on, okay? After reaching some kind of a ceiling because the market hasn't been here in a while, okay? It started coming down. But where do we stop? We stopped at this level again, okay? So this uh, 157 area uh, was actually previous high, now turning, so previous resistance, turning support, which is right there. And then we had another re uh, rejection of that level with this doji candle. This is not a pin bar. It would be beautiful pin bar, but it's not a pin bar. It's not because the body of this candle is not within the previous can uh, uh, body of the previous candle. So if we have something like this, which we see now on the screen, it looks like that. And then we have something like this. This is the body of this candle. This is a beautiful pin bar, doji bar. However, this candle here should be within this candle. So it, the picture should look like this if it's a real rejection, okay? So it should be like this, okay? So this little body of this candle should be within previous candle, okay? So we understand each other, okay? So uh, which tells us the, the following story, okay? So this is our last low. This is our last high made by one candle. We have a huge rejection with the uh, with the wick of that uh, pin bar and we have body created within that candle okay and then we have a high right there okay if this top of this uh, pin bar gets broken market will move on into this direction if not then if the if it breaks below there market will continue on okay so this here what you're looking at right there it is not a valid pin bar okay this one however a little one is a pin bar within the previous candle, okay, it, which moved the market to the downside, okay, after breaking the, the bottom of that candle, okay. So what we have now in this picture, and I'm going to enlarge it so now you can see it again, what I'm talking about, okay. So we have everything marked the way it's supposed to be, okay. We had this low, and we had this high. This is our swing, okay? This is what we have. So up until the market breaks above this level, which is resistance, we have no clear indication if the market is going to continue bullish. At the moment, it's becoming really, really bearish, okay? In order for us to tell or tell the story that the market is going to continue to be sold off, this low has to be broken, so this is a support. Okay, so this low has to be broken from 140 to 184. We have this whole area here where the market is now going basically sideways. Okay, so up until this resistance is broken or the support is broken, we have no proper direction of the market. However, however, the following I'm looking at right now is we have these three lines here marked, okay? So this support is now broken. Price is definitely closed below. And now the market is heading, and where is it heading? Heading for to the next level. Next level or next support will be 145.02. If the market closes below that level, then we can expect for the market to bounce of 138.74, which is our previous and the last higher low. Okay, so two buying points or two buying uh, levels to look into in order to buy uh, into this market again. Okay, we can buy it off of this area if we get a signal and signal, as I said, it could be a pin bar. Okay, looking like that or an engulfing bar like this. Have a huge body. Okay, small wicks and fully, fully engulfs the previous candle, which is this one here okay so these two signals i'm waiting for to happen okay at this level here first level to look for to buy in is 145.02 the second level for me to buy in is 138.74 so these two areas i'm looking to buy in okay 
if the market manages to close the price below here market will come back to retest this level and if this is a seller's market then the market is going to continue to the downside okay so we had this swing low swing high so we had this now we have swing low so this is a high low lower high lower low lower high so we have a swing 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 now we are waiting to see where this last swing now is going to take us it's definitely broken uh, below the previous uh, uh, higher uh, lower low so we are we're expecting or waiting for the market to create another low and give us an opportunity hopefully at this area here to buy in that means we're getting a better price to buy into this market okay at the moment as we are looking at the picture of this market in overall trend is to the upside but right now it's in this mode mode okay so we have a swing low swing high okay we have a resistance so now we are in a pullback mode okay we are waiting for the market to show us if it's going to bounce off this support or if it's going to go back to resistance here break out pull back and continue on okay so this is what we're looking at the apple right now this was a huge lesson to learn today um, i hope everybody's uh, doing great i'm gonna do another video tomorrow and uh, go and go over uh, quite a, a lot of stocks but I wanted to explain to you that my 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 level of thinking and my knowledge that I'm actually passing on to you how to actually read the markets and how actually to make decision how to find this uh, these levels of uh, um, where to buy into market and where to sell we you now have the knowledge in your hands to find these levels for yourself so i would suggest if you are taking anything out of these videos okay to start practicing on your own okay and uh so we can see like you know what's going to happen uh in a week or two or you can also practice these kind of things in a um, on a smaller time frame right you can go down to uh uh, basically four hour charts right you can still see uh, what I usually do I find these uh, support and, and resistance levels on a monthly and a weekly chart those are the most important levels okay you can see how these lines are plotted on a on a week on a month this is a monthly chart I'm going to go down to a, a weekly chart and you can see you can see all these lines you know as I plotted them uh, you can put it put these lines uh, on your chart as well if you want to take a look at that and then uh, you can just go and scroll down to uh, one day uh, level and take a look uh, what happened actually at this level and it, it, can you recognize any of these uh, uh, signals that happen like this uh, beautiful engulfing candle right there okay or this beautiful um, pin bar right there okay so um, is it possible for you to recognize any of these uh, um, areas uh, and what's going on and uh, what kind of signal you can take so look at this beautiful engulfing candle uh, after breaking this uh, uh, resistance area right there okay or take a look at this beautiful pin bar just to try to start to uh, uh, learn uh, these uh, signals okay this is a beautiful uh, pin bar however it did not work out the top of this pin bar was not broken so the market never moved into the positive uh, direction it was sitting on a support if you look at uh, uh, my uh, cursor line it's sitting right on a support it rejected it however it wasn't a very relevant support we are waiting for this 145 or 138 levels okay to be a uh, uh, bouncing levels okay or areas where we would expect the market to bounce off so that's important uh, to understand lastly today i'm going to take a look at uh, air canada and you can see what's going on with air canada at the moment um, it's going to be a big a, a bit longer video today however i apologize but uh, it's great uh, for you to have this uh, uh, learning curve uh, for you uh, what's going and to understand what's going on at the moment okay so uh, without further ado I'm gonna uh, show you the big picture on Air Canada here this is a weekly chart that I'm looking at uh, and I'm looking into buying uh, this uh, stock again okay for me uh, the most important level at the point at this point of time is this level here 1948 okay we can see that a huge support level is happening at this level and we have like one two three uh, bounces off that level okay 
we can also see the following okay and this is what i'm looking at the market at the market right now so after the bounce of this level here so this is the 1948 area okay we had a market coming down okay so we had a previous uh, high previous uh, low okay so whatever happens in between here is not important to us we are waiting for the uh, level for the market to bounce off the support or to break the resistance okay so this was our previous resistance when the market bounced off of that you can see where it went okay and where it started stalling and which is uh, resistance right there okay it's very clear very very clear to understand what's going on here and then we can see the bull started uh, kind of pushing the price up they were not able to and then the bears took over look at this beautiful wick on the other side bulls were not able to close the price again so that cl that clearly tells us you know that the uh, bulls are not strong enough and then bounce off of this 22 area with another pin bar right there this is a beautiful pin bar uh, uh, followed by this uh, beautiful engulfing candle here breaks and closes the price above this resistance area okay and then the market comes back again here comes back again broke below that area so we have now this this is our swing okay so we have low we have a high higher low and is this a higher high yes it is it's higher than the previous one this was the previous one okay so the price is above there okay and then we have this higher low so this is the swing comes back higher high so this is our latest swing so from here to here this is a swing and then the market comes down surprise surprise bounces here once twice three times and then it finally breaks the below that area okay it goes all the way down to 1948 again so now we know that this is a super important area or support uh, level and we know that this is a previous high for us now because the market came down here moved up like that created this high lower low went down here so what we're looking at right now is this this is the picture of what we're looking at right now so this is the area where i want to buy in this is the area where i want to look for my target so what's going on right now well we had a little bounce from, uh, right from here not a lot of uh, energy from bulls you can see these little doji uh, candles this is a doji candle as well with a lower low closed over there then we had this uh, uh, bears uh, coming in and slowly uh, pushing the price to the downside today or today uh, today uh, it's a, this is a daily chart we're looking at the daily chart right now today's closed with the lower low with this candle so this is our today's trading move okay we close below these two candles so it's telling me that the market is still heading in this direction here okay it's still heading this direction i'm still looking in for this to be my buy-in area so 1950 area is my buy-in if we get the signal here i still didn't buy into it okay if we get a signal here and gives us a, a proper direction that the bulls are in control here my first first level to look to get uh, the uh, profits out would be around 24 dollars because we can see now approximately this is the same area where the market stalled quite a few times okay so this would be my target if again if i get a nice signal bounce of this area so that's what i'm looking at air canada right now we are in the downfall we are heading towards this 1950 area okay this is where i'm looking to buy in if the market gives me a proper conditions uh, to buy into this okay so if you are a long-term trader uh, this is also on a weekly chart this is a very important area here 1950 if you're looking to buy into this market this would be your uh, uh, entry level and uh, long-term uh, target would be this uh, 2558 area and i think towards the end of the year towards the end of the year that market was will be able to uh, reach this uh, 
29 area, which is I'm looking to take my profits fully out uh, once we get to $29, okay? Which would be great, uh, um, great level uh, for us to uh, take some profits and uh, move on and see what happens at this uh, 29 area if the market manages to uh, break this uh, resistance and then uh, move on again uh, to $50. Uh, second, second target, I think, is uh, around $40. Let's take a look at the bigger picture here on the weekly chart. I just want to show you something here, okay? Very important. Okay, so let's do monthly. And let's reset the chart here. Okay, so take a look at this, okay? So if you are looking at this level here, we can see on a monthly chart what's going on, what I interpreted on a daily chart, because I take my trades off a daily chart. We had this beautiful, beautiful fall of the uh, Air Canada stock. Okay, so take a look at here. We had the bottom here. We had a top here. Okay, so everything we're looking at is between these two lines. Okay, and then we had, this is the low, this is the high, this is the higher low, this is the higher high, this is the higher low, this is higher high. Okay, so we have this, 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 this on a monthly chart. Okay, we also connect the higher lows, which is a lower low here, lower high here. Okay, and as we extend this trend line by connecting the higher lows, we can also clearly see that the market rejecting it once. Look at this huge wick rejecting. So the, when the market came to this point here, came down and broke below this trend line. This is a trend line. Okay, everything below this trend line here is a sell zone. Everything above this trend line is a buy zone. Okay, we are still stuck in the sell zone on the monthly chart. Okay, we also have this beautiful rejection candle here again. So this was the first one, second rejection, and the market fell, fell back down to this 1948 area. Okay, I am looking to buy in at this area here because this area corresponds to a lot of things. First of all, resistance. From the quite a few candles right here then support and then support and then support so you see why i'm looking into buying at that area and not any other areas right now so this is what we are looking at right now so we are still stuck if we are looking in the short term uh, swings okay we are stuck in this last swing here between 1948 and 29 dollars Okay, so this is our last swing between these two areas. Okay, so up until this area gets broken or this area gets broken, we are still going this basically sideways move from our previous last swing. This is the last swing that we created. I hope this was really clear. If not, then uh, uh, send me a message in the uh, um, on the on my channel and uh, I'll uh, try to answer the question or make another video uh, try to explain exactly what's going on right now so looking at this we are in a short-term uptrend where the market is basically pulling back to this 1948 area we are looking to buy into that area at that area if we get a clear signal from there okay sorry for the lengthy lengthy video but this was a very very educational video if you can swallow this kind of education and uh, understand what I'm talking about and why am I talking about and why am I explaining this then you're going to be all you know way on your way to uh, um, be become a perfect or uh, awesome uh, trader and you will understand where to buy and where to sell okay this is Sasha for today uh, which is uh, Monday March 14th uh, this is the end of the video. I hope uh, everybody liked it. Everybody learned something. Uh, this is the way I see the market. This is not a recommendation to buy, sell, sell or hold any securities. This is, again, the way I see the markets. And you can read any market with a chart like that and understand for yourself how to or how to proceed from there. 
Thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Please do subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Peace out.